All right, we're heading into another round of family get-togethers, and rather than talking about what topics to avoid, we are going to understand why we can't get along. <laughs> Why can't we just get along? Rich Bracken, uh, Mr. Positivity here in Kansas City, is back. Right, you ready yeah. for Christmas? I am very ready for Good. Christmas. How about you? Good. I think it's next week. I'm not yeah. I think so. Shopping. I think so. I think uh, my reminder said that I should probably get some shopping done today. Yes. So I'm going to try to get that all knocked out. <laughs> okay. well, let's talk about agreeing to disagree. You let's don't hear about. that a lot anymore. Why no. is that important? Because it's, you know, with the age of social media, we're all so caught up in our own opinion, and we want our voice to be heard. We want to have our thoughts and our words be the gospel, mm -hmm. right? But what we don't do is that we don't think about what other people, where people come from, where mm -hmm. their subjective opinion is empathy. born from. Empathy. Yeah. People have lost empathy because we want to be right. We want to score the social points mm -hmm. because we made a great point about something. And we've forgotten to ask questions. We've forgotten to engage. We've, in, we've forgotten to expand our horizons, frankly. Mm. So how can we do that? If someone has a different opinion mm -hmm. than you, how can you make that connection so that even if you don't necessarily agree, at least well, you can understand where they're coming we from? We had this case recently, and I'm not going to name the organization because I don't want them coming after me again to try to get me fired, but they didn't like it that I ate meat. Right. And we talked about it, and they were like, you cannot, even though you live in Kansas City where there's barbecue, you can't eat meat. Right. And I said, you be you and I be me. And they said, no, that's not good enough. Right. Right. Well, and, and the, the question that people don't ask anymore is, why do you feel that way? Mm -hmm. What brought you to that opinion? What, what corralled you to this uh, thought that your, your subjectivity is now being inputted into our conversation? So people, we, we think, here's my opinion and here's your opinion. Mm -hmm. And here's this wall, and we're going to be divided on this. But if you just breach that wall and say, tell me, tell me where you, where, right. how you come to this Where thought. you're coming from. Exactly. Mm -hmm. be, by asking that question, you get more input on people, and you, you expand your horizon and you get to know them a little bit better and as well. And you can still disagree afterwards, say, Absolutely. Uh, hey, I appreciate where you're coming from. I just don't agree with you on that. Absolutely. And that's okay, right? It's, right? it's perfectly fine because the biggest problem with these discussions is that people try to persuade. Mm -hmm. You're never going to have not a KU fan and a K-State fan say, right. hey, look, I really agree with your argument. Ema, I'm, I'm giving up rock chalk now because they're, you're trying to persuade somebody. Right. It's all about understanding. It's all about trying to understand where this but person is coming from. But a lot of people from. in this day and age think, if I give in on this, I am giving up my principles. Exactly. exactly. And I am not going to do that because I'm a principled person. Right. And by understanding, like you said a minute ago, I don't have to necessarily change my perspective and I don't have to change my mm -hmm. thoughts and my beliefs, but if I understand yours, that actually gives me more ground to stand on. If I have a, a stronger foundation because I've opened up my thoughts to other people and now I can say, hey, I've believed this before and now I understand the other side, so I can be more convicted in what I think. Not that you weren't before, but it, it's a better foundation. And that probably lowers the temperature of the argument because that person feels like they're being heard, even again, if you don't right. necessarily agree, at least you you cared enough to say, okay, why do you? Can you go to Washington? I can absolutely go to Washington. I can, I can go wherever we need to go because we need to have that conversation across the country and across the world. We sure do. Rich, thank you so much. Absolutely. That's the best Always Christmas pleasure. gift I've had. Uh, you can get tips from Rich. He's got a great podcast. He's all over social media. He has links to all of that on his website. Go there. Be there or be square. It is richbracken.com. Michelle.